Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Hideous Thoughts coming at you with another Black Desert Online video for console. In today's video, we're going to be talking about contribution points, uh, what they are, how you get them and what you can do with them. So um, this is a really good video for beginners who are just starting out and they're kind of overwhelmed with the whole contribution um, sort of system and how it works. And so you're going to get a really good um, idea about um, how you can get contribution points and also um, it's good for players who've been playing for a while who um, you know they're kind of stuck in that um, mid-range um, CP amount and they want to know how they can fast track to get some more as well so it's uh, kind of a bit um, it's got a bit of everything for everyone so um, let's go to the very start and basically contribution points every single quest in the game that you do is going to give you some amount of contribution experience so straight away as soon as you start playing the game you're going to get some contribution points or, or experience because those first initial black spirit quests that you do um, they're going to give you some kind of um, cp experience i believe the, the the minimum that you can get from a quest is 50 experience and it takes 100 experience to get one contribution point so it really doesn't take long to start um, getting some in the beginning now as you kind of get more and more contribution points your ex the experience required to um, get more points gets um, a bit greater and greater like anything like any game that you play the higher level you get the the longer it takes and the harder it, take, it is to get that so um, basically what you can do with contribution points if we go into the map you're gonna have a look let's go into say uh, like any town right so uh, we'll just come up here to uh, Glish right so um, Glish is the town and each of these surrounding kind of farms or like or areas each one of these like this guard camp here they're all called nodes so each node has its own kind of function and, and different things that you can do with that node. Some of them, like the camps here, they're just, um, you can't really do anything with them. They're just to connect kind of one town to another. But uh, one, for example, like this, um, the Glish Swamp, if you go into node management, you can see here it's got um, a couple of different options. So to activate a node, you need contribution points. So you can see there where it says invest contribution, I've got one point invested into that node and that's activated that node. And now down the bottom, the highlighted one mining, I've also got one contribution point, which allows me to activate the mining um, section of this node. So I can send a worker here and you can see there with the lead or I've got um, the a worker uh, mining this lead or for me completely um, passively. And so this is all done with contribution points. In the towns, you don't need to um, invest contribution points into towns because they're all automatically activated. But if you do go into the towns and you go um, by pressing triangle and purchasing the house, you can go and you can have a look at all the available houses here. And if you go into purpose and across, it's got a list of all the available different kind of workshops and, and things that you can activate here by using contribution points. If you wanted to get workers here to send off to a particular node to start um, getting resources for you passively, you would need this here called lodging. Lodging, um, you can see in, in this town, there's three available houses for lodging. And uh, this one here in particular cost me one contribution point where I can put one worker in there. And once you do that, you just go into the town, the town worker NPC, you have a chat with him. You can hire a, um, a, a worker using energy and then you're, you're all set and you can send that worker off to that node to start getting you um, passive resources. It's, it's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to go into too much detail about um, the whole worker system and creating a worker empire and all that because I could probably create a two hour video on that topic alone. So if that's something that you're interested in, leave a comment down below. Let me know um, that, that you'd like to learn a little bit more about that and I can put that together for you guys. Um, the other thing that you can use contribution points for is you can walk, go up to certain NPCs and you can hire um, tools, for example, or um, 
like matchlock guns for hunting or you can um, hire fences for farming that you can farm vegetables or fruits for um, additional income streams or for using it for cooking or alchemy or whatever the case may be so there's a few different things that you can use the um, contribution points for um, but the main thing that you're going to be using it for is creating this worker empire and also maybe like getting some extra storage in towns and things like that um, so I'm going to leave it at that for um, what you use contribution points for because I don't really want to kind of um, give you guys too much information especially you newer guys because you're going to get really overwhelmed with it all um, but basically in this video what we're going to be covering is how you can fast track getting yourself contribution points okay so um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting off today in this town of Duvencroon and Duvencroon if you have a look at the map it's kind of like in the southwest ish well, it's actually kind of like almost directly in the center um, of this kind of area here. So you've got Velia up here, which is like the main town, like where you start at. And it is it is southwest of Velia um, in Dragon area. And then you've got Camasilvia area here on, on the left as well. And uh, and then Heidel, uh, sorry, Calfion is just north. So um, that's kind of sit where it's situated. Basically, what we're going to be doing is um, to, to start off, you need two things. You need a level 56 character and you need a butcher's knife. Now, I just have this alt character here just planted at this um, town, Duvencroon, permanently. Uh, it's, it's something that you can do as well or you can run backwards and forwards every day to complete this. It's totally up to you. I just find it easier to leave an alt here and I just switch over to do this every single day okay i did mention that you need a butcher's knife so um, basically what you want to do is you want to open up your npc finder you want to come down here to material vendor click on that it's going to set a waypoint for you you can just hit that l3 button and it will auto path you to the material vendor so once you get here you just want to come in you want to go to shop and you just want to buy one of these dull butcher's knife they cost 45 silver if you can't afford 45 silver I highly suggest that you seek professional help okay moving on uh, once you've got your butcher's knife we are going to head to the uh, front of the town there's basically like you'll see an archway on the map it's right there and that's where we're going to be starting off the first quests so you just um, you can just set a, a path there Hit that auto path button and you're good to go. Okay, we made it to the front of the town, um, which is right here. You can see the archway there that we saw on the map. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through a quest route. Um, we're going to be doing 24 quests and this is going to give us a total of 5,600 contribution XP that we can do every single day. Now, um, the way that you tell what the kind of quests are on, um, like if you're looking at an NPC, um, he's got this symbol up above their heads and that tells you that they offer you a quest. If you're not sure um, what, what kind of quest it is, uh, the, the yellow line around the outside of the quest if it's a, a solid line it's going to be predominantly like they're going to offer you some combat experience which is going to help towards your leveling of your character if the if the circle uh, the sorry the square is um, broken then it's going to be predominantly uh, or it's going to be a daily quest and also you can see there where it says repeat that means that it's a repeatable quest that it you can do every single day which pretty much gives it away right there and you can go into the quest um, see what the rewards are and you can see that contribution symbol right there so um, again like I said you do need a level 56 character to do this um, the whole thing should take you around uh, 15 to 20 minutes to do and like I said you can just park an old here and come back and do it every single day as part of your daily tasks so let's get into it so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna run up to these guys here and we're just going to accept this quest here this guy um, wants you to go and pray at an altar and this guy right here wants you to go and kill some armadillos he's he's got some kind of 
a vendetta against some armadillos so we're going to go and sort that out for him so um once you accept that armadillo quest it's going to create this uh auto path for you like the, the automatically create that waypoint so you can just hit that l3 button and automatically run there or you can do it manually depending on how lazy you're feeling on the day i guess uh, whatever works for you so we just run up the hill uh so it's just a little bit up here and to the right and we're going to come across some armadillos all right here we go so we can see we've got the three armadillos right there so we're just going to go ahead and kill those all right cool so once you've um completed that and you've you've killed the three armadillos what you're going to do is you're just going to run over the edge of these rocks here and uh you're going to come across some llamas we're just going to kill one llama that's all you need so you need to make sure that you've got that butcher's knife equipped and then you can gather some llama meat um, for one of the upcoming quests. You only need to do it th this one time. You're going to get around four llama meat um, per gather. So that's going to last you a few days. So you, can, you only have to do this once every few days. So we got three there. Um, sometimes you get four, sometimes you get three. Um, depends on the day. But you know, either way, it's still a few days worth. So that's good. Now we're just running back in towards the town to start the next quest. Okay, so we're just going to keep running and we're going to run up this stairs here. And we're going to make our way towards the altar to do some praying. And then once you've done that, um, we just run it back down and we're going to hand those quests in. Alright, cool. So we're going to tell the guy that we've prayed at the altar for him. He's going to give us our first 150 contribution XP. And now we're going to tell the guys that we've killed the armadillos. And he's going to give us 200 contribution XP and a few bowls of yarn which are going to be helpful for us later on as well next we're going to run up these stairs here we're going to speak to this little dude who's lost his goat um he wants us to well this guy yeah here we go okay so he wants us to find rami his little his goat i think all right so we're going to um tell him that we're going to find him that um his, his pet then we're going to speak to our old lady here and she says that she really needs a basket so we're going to sort that out for her as well next we're going to run down the stairs we're going to take a left right here and an immediate right and um this cute little thing she says that she needs some yarn to do some knitting so uh you know we're going to accept that quest and because we got some from the last ones we can give that to her straight away and she's going to give us 200 contribution xp cool next one what we do is we just run straight down the stairs there is a soldier here now i can't accept this because there is three quests in this line um, that lead up to this particular there's two previous ones that lead up to this third quest um, so if you have this one available i uh, accept this guy he's he's lost his bride he wants you to bring her back to him so if you've got that one if he's offering it to you accept that quest there as well next we're going to run into this restaurant and we're going to speak to old mates playing checkers and uh there we go all right um now he's going to say i'm hungry i want some llama meat and you're going to say no worries at all i got some earlier here you go and uh he's going to give us 300 contribution xp and a basket Next, we're going to jump over the fence. We're going to run down the stairs just up a ways. Uh, we're going to speak to this lady with her baby. And uh, she's lost her friend, Yina. So uh, we're going to go and find Yina for her. Cool, done. Run around the corner here. Speak to the old blacksmith. He's, he's telling me he's lost his tools. But you see here that there's, he actually offers you two quests. We're only going to accept the top one. The second one doesn't offer you any contribution XP. If you want to get the blueprints to make the um, dragon dragon 
Slayer, what are they called? Yeah, Dragon Slayer. If you want to get the blueprints to make the Dragon Slayer weapons, by all means, go for your life. But for this particular one, we're just going to accept the top quest, because like I said, it's the only one that gives us that contribution XP. Okay, so we're going to accept that one. After that, we're just going to run backwards a little bit. We're going to speak to this guy here, Drexen. He wants us to deliver a box for him. So we're going to say, no worries. Um, we're, we're on our way out of town. We can do that for you. So... We pick up one of these boxes it's going to automatically create a waypoint for you so you can just hit that l3 button and auto path there no dramas all right so just outside the gates um you're going to see this uh this woman here that's who we've got to give the box to so we're just going to set that one down tell her that we've uh, delivered a crate all good and she's going to give us 150 contribution XP. The next one we're going to do is we're going to go find the goat. We're going to go find Rami. So if you open up your map, you're going to see three possible locations that it could be. The first one is here right next to us. The second one is down the hill. And the third one here in the middle. We're going to set a waypoint to this one. That's where we're going to go. So you can, uh, again, you can auto path it. Or if you if you want to do it a bit quicker, do it manually, whatever you prefer. As you're coming down the hill, you're going to get to this little area here. And um, there's going to be a bunch of NPCs here. Now, this woman right here, she is the one that offers you the second quest in the... Well, with the soldier up the top. She's, off, she's the second quest in that three quest um, series. I can't do this quest for some reason because I, I'm missing some knowledge. Um, I can't find anywhere online what the knowledge is that I need um, to for this woman to give me the quest. So if anyone knows what knowledge I'm, I'm missing, um, let, us, let everyone know in the comments below so that we can um, figure it out, get it done, and, uh, and that'll be really cool to know as well. But basically, um, to get the soldier quest, you need to do one more quest before this one, and then you need to speak to this woman and get this quest. So if, if she does offer that one to you, grab that quest as well. She's basically, you know, her little boy's out playing, doesn't want to come home, being a naughty boy. She wants uh, us to bring her him back for her. After we've accepted that, we're just going to keep running down the hill a little bit. And you can see that line there. That's where we're going. We're going to go find that missing uh, goat sheep lamb thing maybe it's a llama i don't know anyways here we go it's a llama yep okay i keep calling it a goat so we've uh we found rami now we're going to um run back up um the hill a little bit but instead of going all the way up what we're going to do is we're going to veer off to the left we're going to go through this archway here and we're going to come across another couple of quests okay so this dude right here, the worker, he's got two quests for us. Um, one, he wants us to collect some milk from the cow, so we're going to accept that. And the other one, he wants us to um, deliver a cow. So we're going to go and grab the cow that he's missing. We're going to do that one first. So what we need to do is actually, there's three parts of that quest. So we need to collect some corn. So we're going to find some corn in the fields just here. And if you don't get any, just move on to another part until you find some. Alright, cool. Once you've got your corn, you're going to run back to this cow here. He's telling you he's hungry, wants some corn. We're going to give it to him and then he's going to follow us because we are the nice people who feed him. And uh, this is probably the most um, tedious quest out of all of them because this guy is so slow, loves to take his time and uh, you can't get too far ahead otherwise he's going to stop and he'll be like, you know what, I can't see you anymore so come back and get me. So unfortunately you just got to take your time with this one but it is what it is. Okay, after the corn, after the cow has come back, you're gonna um, 
talk to the guy you're going to say you brought his cow back and he's going to give you a cool 300 contribution xp after that what we're going to do is we're not going to do the the collecting of the milk just yet we're going to hold off for a second we're going to run back to the cornfield we're going to speak to old mate here and uh, he wants us to deliver a crate for him um as well as we're going to do some other stuff um but before we do that again we're going to run through the field and we're going to just going to jump over this fence here speak to this little dude he wants us to go and wave at something i don't know which is right here don't have too far to go oh you're going to wave a flag there you go okay now you're going to um speak back um to him again and he's going to give you a cool 200 contribution xp it's probably the easiest 200 contribution experience you will ever get and then after that, you're just going to run towards the left of the field. Up here, jump the fence. Going to speak to old mate again. This guy, the little goblin. He's old and, and, and weak and he wants you to deliver a, a wheelbarrow full of uh, vegetables. So we're going to do that for him. We're going to play the funkiest um, mini game you've ever played. All right, cool. Once you've done that, we're going to speak to him. We're going to say we've brought his vegetables. Yep, all good. Done. And he's going to give us 200 contribution XP. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to run back across the cornfield. And uh, just right next to where we, we grabbed that cow early, there's going to be some boxes here on the ground. So we're going to pick up one of these boxes. And again, you can just auto path this one. And we're going to give it to this guy here. So there's three parts to this quest as well. One is we're going to hand over the crate. So that's the, it's a gift. Okay. A uh, gift from the guy in the cornfield. And uh, they also want us to hand over some milk, which we got from the I like corn quest as one of the rewards. So we're going to hand that one to him. And then the third part that we've got to do is we're going to, uh, we need to obtain some milk. So this is why I said hold off on the other one because we can do these two quests at the same time and it just kind of kills, uh, saves you from doing the same thing twice. Alright, cool. So there we go. We've ticked both of those off. So um, we're going to hand this one in. He's going to give you a bunch of milk and 300 contribution XP. And then we can speak to this guy here and he's going to give us an option. You can choose milk or corn. I always choose the milk just because it sells for like seven or 8,000 on the central market. Um, but whatever works for you. And that's going to be uh, 300 contribution XP. Now the woman who's lost her child, if you were able to accept that quest, I do believe the child is, is here. So what you do is you just go... Um, Tell, speak to the child, tell him his mom's looking for him, he's, he needs to come home or he's going to get a smack. The uh, the child, he's going to follow you, so you're just going to run up the hill. Um, make sure you don't get too far ahead, otherwise you, you'll probably have to go back after him. And you're going to give the, the child back to his mom, and she's right here. And, and that's going to give you another 300 contribution XP. After that, you're just going to keep running up the hill. Okay, and there's this woman here, right? So the soldier who's lost his bride, it's this woman standing right here with all these llamas around. So what you would do is uh, you would just talk to her. You'd say her husband's looking for her. He's worried. He needs a kiss. And uh, you're going to get her to follow you into the town. Um, the cool thing about this is you can do a couple of other quests along the way while she's still following you. So you just take your time. Um, and then what you would do as well while before we take her back is we're going to speak to this villager here. He wants some wood so he can have a shield so that he doesn't get beaten up by his friends. We actually got some wood as a reward from one of the earlier quests, so we can give that one to him straight away. And he's going to give us 300 contribution XP. Next, we're going to pick up one of these boxes here. And uh, this is the toolbox that the blacksmith was looking for, so we can pick that one up and give that one back to him.
Okay, so we set that one down. We're going to tell him we brought his tools for him. And he's going to give us 300 contribution XP. After that, you would just make sure that, that um, the bride is still following you. And uh, you would just come back up here towards the soldier. Okay, there he is. And you would just tell him that, you know, here's your wife. I found her. She, she, she's, she's okay. And uh, she, he's going to give you 300 contribution XP. Next, you're just going to run here. You're going to take a right through this courtyard. And uh, there's a, a guy here. That... This guy here. He wants you to deliver a, another crate for him. So you're just going to accept that one. And that's these crates here on the floor. But before we do that, we run back to the skill instructor. Um, and he's told you that there's an old building that needs to be repaired. You say, no worries, you'll sort that one out for him. Jump up the ledge here. The soldier's lost his... Um, he's got a soldier that's run away. He got scared of some blood wolves. So you'll, you'll tell him that you'll bring, bring that soldier back to him. Take a right through that alleyway and there's a little dude here that's lost his kite. So you're going to say, no worries, I'll find that for you. If you open up your map, there's four possible locations that that kite could be. Okay, they're all pretty much on top of each other. We're going to go to this one right here. Okay. So that's right there. So you can see on top of that roof there. All you do is run behind the building. There's a crate that you can stand on. Climb up on the roof. And there you go. After you've done that, you're just going to run back to the kid. Tell him uh, you found his kite. He's going to... It's going to happy, happy days for him. And uh, he's going to give you 150 contribution XP. Next, you just run back through that archway. We're going to take a left here. Down the stairs. Right here. This old building we're just gonna hit triangle we're gonna repair it for the skill instructor and we're good to go now we're gonna grab that trade box again you can auto path this one or do it manually but it's basically we're just taking it to the first guy that we delivered that box for okay hand that one in and that's another 150 contribution XP. After that, you're going to run up the stairs. Um, so the um, so from over there, we're just running up these stairs all the way up here. We're going to find the uh, the runaway soldier. We're going to tell him he's in big trouble. He's got to come back with us. Okay. Now this guy here, you can go a little bit faster. He does tend to chase after you if you get a little ways ahead of him. But again, you still can't get too far otherwise. You know, these guys are lazy. It's like a Sunday every day for these guys. You know, they uh, they like to take their time. Never in, in much of a rush. But um, he's still a lot faster than that cow. So that's always a, a bonus. What we do is we're just going to um, speak to the skill instructor again. We're going to tell him we've repaired that building for him. He's going to offer you some rocks or some logs. You can accept whatever one you prefer at the time. Um, but he's also going to give us 200 contribution XP. After that, you can just run up the stairs here. And, uh, and that dude should pretty much just follow you all good. Alright, once he gets around, you can speak to the soldier. Tell him, you know, you've brought, you've brought the, the runaway back. And he's going to give you uh, 300 contribution XP. After that, you're going to jump over the edge of that um, ledge. You're going to speak to old mate here. You know, he got a haircut. It's, it, he's really worried that the townsfolk are, are, are talking shit about him. And he wants you to go and, and see what all the gossip's all about. Um, so you can just auto path this one. It's probably the quickest way. You're going to speak to this guy here. And he's going to say, nah, nah, I didn't say anything about his haircut. You know, and besides, he's wearing a hat. So, I, you know, it's all good. Um, and he's going to give you 200 contribution XP. Next, you're just going to go straight through this archway here. And up to this guy, we're going to, we're going to tell him we found Rami. And he's going to give us 300 contribution XP. We're going to give the lady her basket that she's missing. And that's another 300 contribution XP. 
after that, what we're going to do now is we're going to go towards Yina. So if you open up your map, you're going to see this um, symbol on the map right there. That's that's where we're headed towards Yina. You can just press square there and create that auto path and, and it'll take you where you need to go. Okay, so um, if you were not um, feeling lazy and didn't want to run straight through and you took the long way around, you're going to come across this guy here. He's got another quest for you to do. He just wants you to go and pray this altar over here. Duven Croons, you know, it's it's a pretty religious -y town. Um, lots of people love their praying. So we're just going to um, run to that altar and run straight back to the guy we're going to say yeah look we prayed to rng jeebus um and he's going to give you 150 contribution X xp next you're going to keep running down the hill and there's another guy just down the end here and he wants you to go and pray at another altar as well so you're just going to accept that one and this one is right there so all you do is you're just going to run here. If, you, if you're good enough, you can jump across and check out the altar and then jump back over. Speak to this dude, tell him you've, uh, you've had a sus of that altar and uh, he's going to give you another 150 contribution XP. You're going to continue down the hill. If you get lost, just set that auto path back to the Yina again. It will tell you where to go. But you're basically just running across this bridge here and to the right, and that's it. All right, there she is. Cool. You're going to say, what's up, you know, how you going? Long time no see. She's going to give you 200 contribution XP. All right, so that's the end of the quests. 24 quests, 5,600 contribution points. If you take a look at this chart here, you can see the contribution point range and the XP required per point. So if you're just starting off and you don't have any points at all, you, um, you know, you're know you in that zero to 29 range, you're gonna need 100 experience per point. Okay, moving down, once you get to that 100 to 119 range, you're gonna need 600 experience per point. Um, going down the list, when it starts to it starts to um, build up, 250 points to 254, you're going to need 1,200 XP per point. Okay, and uh, once you start, you know, you, you get to the 260 to 274 range, it starts to really add up when you need 4,800 um, experience per point. And if you get to the to the range where I'm at, I'm at uh, 325. So right on this section here, 24,000 experience per point, and the 350 is where it really starts to, to build up, um, you know, 72,000 um, experience per point. And if you're super awesome and you've been playing for a long time and you've managed to crack that 500 plus range for 606,000 experience per contribution point, I take my hat off to you, I give you a pat on the back, a high five, and a fist bump all at the same time and I say well done because that's some achievements right there so that's gonna be it for today's video guys I really hope you enjoy it I hope you learned something hit that thumbs up button if you did like it and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already make sure you hit on that bell so you get notifications for future videos like this let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video if you liked it and if you want to see more videos like this as well and um, I if you want to follow me on Twitch to see me live streaming i'll leave a link in the description below it's it's twitch.tv slash hideous thoughts and i'll leave a link in the description below for my discord as well so you can come and hit me up on discord you can have a chat with with me and uh if you are looking for a guild where you, you want some support it's a beginner friendly guild no guild score requirements at all you just got to be an active player so if you want some more information on joining a guild for help with questing or, or character leveling or, or just um, genuine help with the game um, let me know as well and we can sort that out too but that's going to be it for today's video guys i really hope you enjoy it thanks so much for watching and i'm going to see you in the next video